everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the double crochet thermal stitch. And that's the stitch that you see here in front of you. Essentially it is double crochet stitches, but it's worked in a way to make the fabric quite thick. It's about double the thickness as a regular double crochet stitch and you can kind of see it there in the video. Uh, it's uh, quite neat. It has a little bit of stretch to it which is nice. Uh, if you're curious to see how you can make a similar thickness using a single crochet stitch, uh, check out last week's video there and I teach you how to do the single crochet thermal stitch. So today we're going to do the double crochet thermal stitch. I'm going to be using a six millimeter crochet hook along with the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations and there will be a link in the notes for this video uh, about uh, both of these items there for you. So let's grab a hook and some yarn and we'll learn how to crochet this double crochet thermal stitch. Thank you so much for joining me and if it is your first time to my channel I invite you to check out some of the other videos and of course don't forget to subscribe. So for our double crochet thermal stitch today, we are going to be starting it much like we started the single crochet thermal stitch. And uh, we're going to start by working our foundation chain. Now your foundation chain, you're going to work uh, the number of stitches that you desire, uh, plus three. So today I think I'm going to uh, chain 23, <laughs> split second decision there. Okay, so once you have your chain, your desired length, plus three for uh, your turning chain there, you're going to take a look at your chain. And normally I would work into the back bumps of my foundation chain. Those are the bumps that you see there. But for this thermal stitch, we're actually gonna turn it over and we're gonna look at the top of our stitch, which looks a lot like the top of like a single crochet or a double crochet, and you have these Vs. We are going to be working in our back loop only of our foundation chain. So that is the horizontal bar that is the furthest away from you. You're going to be working in that one only, and you're going to start by working your first double crochet stitch and these are just regular double crochets into the fourth chain from your hook. Okay, so into those back loop only, in, insert your hook in that fourth chain and work a double crochet stitch. You're going to continue that all the way across. Double crochet in the back loop only, all the way across. Okay, so once you have your first row of double crochets in the back loop only worked, you're going to have something that looks like this. You can see the remaining front loops there of your foundation chain and you have your double crochets sticking out there. We're now going to begin round two and you're going to start by chaining two. The chain two at the beginning does not count as a stitch. It's simply so that you can turn your work. You're then going to turn your work and you can either turn it all the way around at this point or I like to kind of turn it down so it's vertical. I find it easier to see the stitches. And similar to the single crochet thermal stitch, we're going to be working again in our back loops only. And you're going to be working through the back loop only of the stitch you just worked, so that double crochet, and the back loop that is left available of the foundation chain below. And here it looks like they're my front loops but when you turn your work you will see you'll remember that that is your back loop so they become your back loops. Okay so what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over, you're going to insert your hook in the back loop only of that first stitch, down through and into the back loop that's available of your foundation chain. 
you're then going to yarn over and drop a loop and it is going to pull the double crochet in a little bit like that you can pull it up a little bit higher if you would like you're then going to yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two more to finish your double crochet stitch that is your first one from here on end you're going to continue that all the way down so yarn over into the next one which is right here insert in the back loop only go directly down into the next foundation chain like so yarn over and drop a loop yarn over draw through two yarn over draw through two continue that all the way down working in the next stitch back loop only back loop only of my foundation chain yarn over drop a loop complete my double crochet stitch so continue working that all the way down your row now I'm just coming up to my last stitch now your last stitch on that first row you'll remember was the turning chain so you're going to actually work into the top of that uh, top of the turning chain that first chain and into the last chain this is the only time where you will work into that turning chain and then I'm at the end of my row one so this is uh, the front side here you can see there and then when I turn it around I have this little ridge which we're going to work into next so now at the end of your row two, you're going to chain two again. You'll remember that does not count as a stitch and we're going to turn our work. Now, once again, you're going to continue working in those back loops only. So yarn over into that first stitch. So your chain two does not count as a stitch into that first stitch back loop only insert your hook <coughs> and then into the back loop only of the stitch of the previous row you'll insert your hook. You're going to yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You're going to continue that all the way along once again. So into the next stitch, insert your hook in that back loop, the stitch directly below it, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over pull through two continue that all the way along and this is uh, this is how you're going to work your entire piece of thermal double crochet stitch so you can work this as long as you would like and then come back here and I'm going to show you how to work your final row because it's slightly different because at the end of your work you don't want to have this ridge that you see here or these two kind of oddly paired layers okay so we're going to want to close that up a little bit so work your piece for as long as you would like and then meet me back here and I'll show you how to do that final row Okay, so you will have now worked your piece the length that you desire. It might be quite a bit longer than mine, but you're going to have a piece with these two mismatched uh, pieces here. You have a ridge down here, and then you have the top of your stitch here. And you don't necessarily want that at the end of your work, so we're going to bring that together and work one final row. What you're going to do is you're going to chain two and turn your work as you did for the other ones. Now instead of working in your back loops only, into that top stitch you're going to work under both loops. So you would work it as you normally would. You can work it as a double crochet or a single crochet. If you do a double crochet yarn over, insert your hook into the top of that stitch and then down into the back loop only of the stitch directly below. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two more. 
you're going to continue that all the way down. So yarn over into the top under both loops, then straight down into that horizontal bar of the row below, yarn over, drop your loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you're going to continue that all the way down and I'll work a few stitches and just show you how it's bringing both of those together. And again, if you wanted to finish your piece and you didn't want quite a long stitch up top, I'd recommend working like a single crochet or a shorter stitch that will bring those in as well. There we go. And then I can show you, so then your work looks like this on one side like that on the other and then up at the top you don't have those two ridges anymore so that's all there is to working this double crochet thermal stitch once again thank you so much for joining me and uh, until next time happy crocheting bye